Hi everyone, I'm Rincy and this is Rincy Reads. Today I'm just going to be doing like a Friday Reads chatty video to show you guys what I'm reading recently as well as just talk about a couple of things that are going on. I had a really long week and I was going to film a book review but I'm just like tired so I'm going to just record it over the weekend and post it next week. So a couple of like general channel updates. Uh, I've been reading a lot of books this month and so I've been putting up more videos so that way I can talk about more of the books before the wrap up at the end of the month because I can't talk about like 10 or 12 books in a single wrap up. So I'm going to link to my book reviews playlist up in the cards so that way you guys can check that out if you haven't already. I did book reviews on The Hate You Give and Exit West. I've also done other videos this month but anyways I've been posting two videos a week this entire month. I'm hoping to keep it going for the entire month of March although I'm not completely sure if that's going to happen but yeah I just wanted to give that a little update in case you haven't seen all of my videos. If you just like come to my channel on Fridays you may have missed a couple of videos during the month. Second little update thing is that I'm going out of town not this weekend but the following weekend to Nashville. So if any of you guys have any recommendations of things to do or see in Nashville definitely leave a comment down below because I've done plenty of research but I can always use tips. I already know about like Parnassus books so don't tell me about that one but any other things any like places to eat or anything like that. I'm pretty sure we're staying like in what is basically like downtown Nashville so anything in that area is fine. I'm going with my siblings though so I mean I will take your suggestions but I don't know what they're going to want to do as well so that's all uh, dependent on that. That's also part of the reason why I'm not sure if I'll be able to get as many videos up in the next couple of weeks as I have the past couple of weeks because I'm going to be getting ready for that. And then the third thing that's happening in my life is that I got a new job which is exciting. This isn't my full-time job. I don't like YouTube full-time or anything like that. I don't expect it to have a major impact on the channel. The only thing is that I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to do two videos a week anymore but that was never really my plan. My plan was always just one video a week on Fridays and I'm pretty good about planning my videos and now that I have relatively decent lighting in my room and also daylight savings is happening so there's actually light outside right now while I'm recording this which is insane. I can basically just record whenever I want. Yeah I thought I would just say that because it might have some effect but I feel like it won't really. It might affect the amount that I'm reading. It might increase because I'm commuting now so who knows. We'll see what happens. I feel like my life is just completely up in the air right now because there's so many variables that are about to change just because I'm changing jobs but that's adulthood I guess. So anyways on to the things that I'm currently reading. First up I'm currently reading Lillian Boxfish Takes a Walk by Kathleen Rooney. I got this from the Book of the Month box. I think in February was the month that I got this one. It's a relatively short book but this is also the book that I've been reading while I'm at work and I haven't been doing that much like reading at work recently because I'm finishing off my current job. I feel like I have a lot of projects I'm trying to like wrap up so I haven't been taking as much time to read and also March Madness just started so I've been spending some of my free time watching games as opposed to reading so you know it happens but this is a relatively short book. I If I don't finish it this week I might finish it over the weekend just to like move on to something else in the next week. But I am enjoying it so far but I'm only like 20% of the way through this book. If you aren't aware in this story you are following this character named Lillian Boxfish. She is in her 80s I believe and it's about her taking a walk through New York City on New Year's Eve and she's also just like reflecting on her life living in New York City for the entirety of her life. But I'm really enjoying it so far. It's a little bit of a slower read which is probably another reason why I'm taking it a little bit slower but it is pretty good so far. And then the other book that I am currently reading is The Sport of Kings by C.E. Morgan. I picked this up from the library after it was long listed for the Baileys prize. Um, the Baileys prize is a British prize that gives an award to the best book written in the past year that is written by a woman in English. So this has been long listed but I had already had this one on my radar for the past year because Lisa Lucas who runs the National Book Foundation she had talked about it on the Book Riot podcast last year. As Lisa Lucas had mentioned this as one of the best books that she had read last year at that point and I believe that she still thinks it's one of the best books that she read last year. Anyways this is really long-winded because I'm tired. <laughs> this is a relatively long book. It's sort of like an epic family saga and I'm really enjoying it because like I said I've read a lot of books this month but it's because all of them were like less than 300 pages or just around 300 pages and this one is over 500 pages so I'm really enjoying having a longer book to really sink my teeth into but even though it's a longer book I feel like I'm still 
moving through it relatively quickly. I'm around the 200 page mark as of right now, but I'm planning on making pretty decent headway on this, but I probably won't finish it until like next week sometime. I'm not rushing it at all. I'm really, really enjoying this book though. So this story takes place in Kentucky. Um, it starts off in about like the 50s or 60s, I want to say, and you are following this guy who is the son of a corn farmer in Kentucky, but he has big dreams of when he inherits the farm, getting rid of all the corn and instead racing, raising racehorses. It also is supposedly going to deal with like race relations because the family has or had slaves on their farm and they also like employed black people as like servants but just like paid them, you know? The modern day part that I'm currently at is about like the 1990s. So we'll see what happens. And I believe there's like a black jockey who comes into play or something along those lines. I don't really know because I'm still like only a third of the way through this book, but it's really well written so far. And I think that it's kind of underrated because I haven't heard that many people talking about it, but I think people also are intimidated by it because it's rather large. Um, I know I didn't pick it up earlier because it's rather large and also it's about horse racing and it's kind of like, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be into that, but it's like one of those books that deals with horse racing, but it's not really about horse racing. Although there are a lot of details about horses in here. So, you know, if you like horses, this might be a book worth picking up. But if you are into horses, that doesn't mean you shouldn't pick this book up, at least in my opinion so far. So anyways, I'm rambling because again, I'm tired. So yeah, those are the books that I'm reading right now. As always, in case you aren't aware, you can always follow me on Goodreads. There's a link down below as well as to all my other social media if you want to see my like updates about what I'm currently reading. If you have read either of these books, let me know what you thought of them down below. I know a bunch of people have read Lillian Boxfix. I can't say that title. Lillian Boxfish. Whew, yeah, it's been a week. So I know a bunch of people have read that one and for the most part enjoyed it, but I haven't heard that many people talk about Sport of Kings. So if you have read that one, I'm especially interested to see what you thought of that one. So yeah, that's all I have for now. And thanks for watching.